Okay, so today I'm just gonna shoot with my uh, EDC, or you know what I have on me most of the time. Uh, Glock 43 inside the waistband. I've got a new holster on the way um, from Smoky Mountain Concealment. A Bravo concealment uh, set up outside the waistband with a Vickers Tactical Plus Two, and um, may do some light deployment. My Streamlight, what is this, a Protac 1L1AA, or Alpha Alpha, however you want to say it. Alright, so uh, nothing fancy. Just going to shoot with what I have on me on a typical day when I'm not carrying a larger gun. Also, I'm going to add some of these dummy rounds. These are just to simulate a um, malfunction of some type, a uh, failure to fire. Um, you can set them up different ways for like double feeds and stuff, but just going to add some of these in there, get some practice, and um, one thing, doing a tap rack and dropping mags with this is a little different. This is a smaller gun, so to get the mag in, you almost have to open up your pinky and your ring finger to get a good seat on the mag. Um, also, since the slide is smaller, you got to make sure when you tap rack that you're not covering that ejection port because that is going to cause you problems. So uh, you want to stay away from that. All right, let's do it. Okay, so it looks like it started to rain. Um, everything about guns and everything gets more slippery. And uh, you start noticing some things may not work as well as they do when you're on a dry range and you have perfect conditions.
Okay, I'm about 25 yards. Um, have my Glock 43. Um, it's important to pick a small gun if you are going smaller to make sure that you can shoot it accurately. Um, you never know when you got to make a 25 yard shot or farther. So you got to practice and um, if your gun can't do it, you may want to reevaluate. All right. All right, 25 yard headshots. You never know. Okay, so just some quick shooting with my EDC. I haven't shot pistols as much recently, so I'm a little bit rusty. And, um, you know, when you get out and shoot, with your EDC, you figure out what works, what doesn't, um, what you need more practice on, and um, some things that you weren't doing before, um, you may notice you start doing after you haven't shot in a while. So uh, get out there and practice, and be safe.